I'm ready for my close up. Yeah. Is this point where you want me to dance? Yeah, yeah, you can. Try, yeah, if, if you would, if you would intro for us. You, sure. You'd have to be back here though to be able to fit into the frame. You have to zoom out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Hamcation 2023. First stop, ICOM. They got something new for us to see. How's it going, Ray? Going pretty good, Josh. Good to see uh, you again. Pretty excited about the new stuff that we unpacked here. Y your uh, your trunk. Yeah, your, your magical trunk was full this year. Yeah, it, it showed up. It <laughs> it has sat at my house for two weeks. It's been I've been oh, so wow. busy. I haven't had a chance to take anything out to play with it uh -huh. until we arrived here yesterday. So you, this is like live farm to table, basically. This is it. Ba basically. Okay. It. Let me grab this so, so you guys can see a bit of a close up here. What do we? What do you got for us today, Ray? Well, we're we're also building the display as we speak. I mean. Uh, right. me meeting of the minds, how are we going to put the antennas and things like that. So yeah. off stage to the right here. Literally off stage right here. We got PVC wheels there. And then my buddy Scott. And he's, Scott, yep. He's the ad hoc engineer for the design. So we're going to cover some of the accessories for it first because they're going to need it. And also to discuss a concept with you. Okay. So we've got three Ray Dome type antennas. Right, so we're talking 905 antennas now, which you see there in the background, right? Yeah. Well, the 705 and the 905. Yeah, this, this guy right there. Yeah. So these are the antennas. This, this is a 10 gig antenna. Okay. Small, compact, uh, SMA connector on the back of it. And I'm not sure if we did this but when it was brought out here or if it comes with the wing nuts. Okay. But just think about right. temporary installations. Sure. So we got one for 10 gig, 5.6, and 2.4. Okay. So that covers the upper ends, the optional 10 gig, and then the 5.6 and the 2.4 that comes standard okay. with the 905. So you put up one of those and you can connect them individually to the RF module, right? Yes, sir. They can all be connected so that you have basically full full band capability with the 905 right right okay you and i were talking i think earlier this week about the concept of microwave soda right or microwave so soda or soda microwave right <laughs> as you can see 705 905 the two heads fit perfectly in the lc192 uh-huh the main rf deck for the 905 it's fed with a pigtail. The optional 10 gig module. Uh, hypothetically though, if you were doing soda, you just need the one, right? Mm -hmm. uh, well, if you wanted to do the 10 gig. Yeah, it, it may not fit in the backpack though, in that case, right? Right, it, it does not. Oh, it's, it's, it's lightweight though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could find a fanny pack or an add-on uh, hanging pack to go on it. Right. Feed line can be nice and compact. Mm -hmm. One thing that's whirling around in my mind is how far away would you want the RF mm -hmm. from the radio head? Right. So true. Not very far. We look at we look at some right? of the we look at some of the optional cables where you've got the RJ45 to RJ45. Mm -hmm. You could definitely build your own shorter. Right. You don't need the waterproof connectors. If you do, you can build find those. But I'm also thinking, should we make these, make a soda kit okay. that have shorter cables? Yeah, and some kind of mast support kind of system to put the, the antennas up potentially? Well, the antennas do have, but we wouldn't be coming up with the mast system. Sure, there's, sure. We, there's too many right. of them out there. Right, I mean, right, Buddy right, Pole's right. got a system. Yeah. But uh, some of the jumpers, uh -huh. those are small, but what is not is when we're looking at, it's being sold as a base station. Right. So this is the role of RJ45 to remote it. This is like if you were at home. Yes. You could put this out, up on the roof. Yeah, you don't want to carry oh that. Oh my God, you? yeah, no. <laughs> That's kind of heavy. <laughs> and then the other and the, is another RJ45. Um, like I okay. said, we haven't built it here, so I don't know right. what cables go where at this and, and point. And again, the, the idea behind this is that the RF module, this guy right there, is 
what you remote. Yes. So you've got no loss, you've got no RF loss in the feed line because it's all done over networking cable. So this would be mounted mm -hmm. on your configuration for your antennas. Right. So really, this mess could be a lot shorter. It should be, right, hypothetically. You yeah. just have it as close to the antenna as possible. The two meter, 70 centimeter is an N-type connector. Right. But then when you're looking at your 2.4 and 5.6, yeah. You're looking at the SMAs. Got it. If you want to do a, an external 10 gig reference. Nope, nope, that's the GPS antenna. That's right. The 10 gig reference, or 10 megahertz reference is on the 10 gig module. Right, okay. So, I mean, there's your RF deck. I like it, Ray. So the concept is, and I would love to hear from your viewers. Yeah. Should we do the cable kit for soda? Or let you guys build it yourself. Does that? The, I, I the know long myself. Per, myself personally, I'm yeah. horrible at building cables. <laughs> well, the, the RJ it, cables are also kind of a pain if you don't have the crimper for it. Right. Right. Yeah. So that, that's why I'm asking. I know. Yeah. I look at my time and money. Um, I'd rather be doing something else other than swearing and building cables, or right. building cables and then swearing. Right. Is this is this it? Does this unit power on? Uh, this this unit will power on. Yeah. Um, we're obviously running, uh, you, you guys are setting up over there for the antenna, so we're going to come back. So here, here we got the side of it, uh, the power point, and I know I had the power cable earlier. Yeah. Um, no internal battery, so it does need to be no, externally powered. No, it, as you can see, heat sink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this looks a lot different than what you saw at Dayton. Yes, it does. Yes, yes, this is different, this whole back area. So... Oh, you, full size SD card on the side here? Yep. USB-C, yes. Ray, USB-C. Yeah, well, uh, we don't have, so, so your viewers that are going, yeah, Ray, you need to know all this stuff, RTFM, read the fine manual. <laughs> yeah. Um, We're super excited about we that. We don't have the manual yet. So right, 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 right. There's right. nothing to read. There's a lot of speculation. Yeah. But then your, your LAN port, your POE, that's why the power supply. Mm -hmm. uh, no information on the specs on the POE yet. Okay. So trying to identify the voltage, the current, all of that kind of stuff. Okay. Do not have that yet. Uh, they've got laid out here what your connections are for. Oh yeah. It's getting a lot. Let me see. Can it's I... getting a lot closer. I, it feels lighter than the 705 to me. Is this lighter than the 705? Would you say? Because there's no battery, right? So I'm assuming this is. Yeah, we got this one tethered. Oh so. yeah, it's okay. You don't you don't have to test it live. Yeah, well, we're doing right. it anyway. Yeah, you're right. Is it? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And there's a that's a slim battery too. That's not even the stock battery. No. Nope. Yeah. And batteries feather light. So. Yeah. So like like I I was telling you, um, when we were texting. I think we might be able to do some soda microwave. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. I think that's going to be fun. Excellent, Ray. I, I know when I mentioned it to the engineers, I kind of got laughed at. Who would want to climb a mountain to do microwave? That's what they go, do in Southern California. I mean, that's what they do. Hams can do nutty things. Yeah, for sure. And in New England, yeah, we've got Joe's right here watching. <laughs> How's it going, How Joe? You? How's it going? Doing great. Wait a minute. There's no mountains in Nebraska. No, 